Hey, Charlie. What's up, buddy? What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another day, another beautiful day out on the ranch, the homestead, the farm, whatever. Come on, what are you doing? You coming? You coming or what, John? Come on. Sometimes he doesn't know if he wants to be in the shot. He's kind of camera shy. It's really weird. Last couple days, Andrew's been here, and Charlie's just not about the camera life. Charlie, come here. Hey, hey, come back here. Be, on, be in the video. Charlie, just say hi, man. What's your deal? Just say hi. Look, he just lays down and just gives up. He's just done, done with it. So yeah, no Andrew today. Unfortunately, Badger had to go back home, spend some time with his wife, cook up some fire edits for the channel, but he'll be back really soon. Don't you guys worry about that. But we've got a full slate of things on the docket today. Speaking of Charlie, let, let me just show you guys something. I want you guys to look at that right there, okay? Obviously that is a food bowl, but it's still got food in it, right? Like I'm not just crazy about this. This is the food that I buy here, okay? This is that freaking blue buffalo, all natural, like healthy, holistic, superior nutrition, ultimate protection. Yeah, dog food. For those of you that are not dog food enthusiasts, that's like one of the most expensive dog foods that exists. And for some reason, he won't eat it. Not to mention the pile of food that I already got him. You guys see this jug right here? Yeah, it's like halfway full of dog food. And uh, yeah, your boy Charlie right here, he won't eat it. He's too good for it. So not only will he not eat the normal dog food that he's been eating his entire life, but he won't eat it for some reason now. I guess he's now, he's a farm dog now and he just won't eat it. So I started buying him the expensive, nice dog food. Won't eat that either. So either he's eating wild animals or he's just sustaining off of the fat that he already had. I honestly have no freaking idea, but what I've been doing with his old dog food is feeding the hundreds of giant catfish with it in my backyard pond. So we're gonna take this little, I don't even know what this is right here. We're gonna fill it up with some food and go feed the old fishies. See if anybody's home. Because as it turns out, even though a dog won't eat this really nice dog food, catfish seem to love dog food. Was not aware of that fact until I moved out here. Well, yeah, catfish love dog food. So do brim. So do apparently a lot of creatures. It's water creatures like this. Let's go down there and see See who's home at the old pond, who's ready to eat. Ha! <laughs> that piece of structure that me and Andrew built, hopefully that video has already come out yet. You guys might be able to see it's right out there and you can just barely see a little white PVC pipe <laughs> sticking out of the water. I wonder if it's gonna be like that forever. That's freaking hilarious. Charlie, you're lagging behind, man. It's probably because you're not eating food anymore. You don't have the energy you need to keep up with farm life. I really don't know what it is about this particular spot in the pond, but the catfish really seem to kind of congregate and feed here. I don't know, I think it's because there's a big lay down in the water, like a huge tree or a log or something. We really need to scan um, this pond, you know, with like a deeper or something. Some type of technology that way we can see the bottom, see what it looks like, see how deep it is. Cause there's a lot of things I just don't know about this pond yet. So be looking out for videos like that to come really soon. I know one thing, the brim are gonna be around for sure. Yeah. Once we get some of this in the water. Oh yeah, you can already see them. You can already see them. They're getting excited. There's a bunch, there's a bunch right down there. Look at them, look at them. It's like a shark feeding frenzy. And then there's Charlie just drinking the water. Drinking nasty pond water. All right, we've got a nice spread. Let's just go for a full send here. Oh, I threw the whole thing in there. I knew that was gonna happen. It's okay, it's okay. Oh God, my bucket's flying away on me. It's okay, it looks like it's floating right towards the bank. So I'll pick that up in just a minute. The brim are definitely alive and well. They're doing just fine, but you guys just wait in just a minute or two. We're gonna have some mega catfish come show up to the party. I can tell y'all one thing, I'm loving this farm life, this just homestead life, ranch life. It's just definitely the way to live. But I will tell you, I'm getting really sick of driving the old F-150 all the way around the property. I mean, look, this is a nice truck. It's four wheel drive. We got some tires on it and stuff, a little bit of a, of a lift and it can handle going off road. It definitely can. And it does, it handles it really well, but there's some really skinny area that I'd like to be able to get in and around and the truck just doesn't let you do that. You know, it's just, it's a little confining, you know, it's great cause it's huge. You can carry a ton of stuff, but I really, really, really have been needing a smaller vehicle that is equally capable 
of handling this type of terrain. So whoo, this video is going to, it's gonna be something I've been wanting to do even before I got this property, but now I kind of need this piece of equipment. So I'm really gonna be making my first toy purchase ever on the ranch today. Now I just saw a big catfish. Where are they? I see them, see there, oh, there's one. They're swimming underneath the bram right now, trying to like get in there. Oh, look, there's a couple, boom, boom. Those aren't even the big ones. That's just like a little six, seven pounder. Look at them, look at them. Those are like, those are, I mean, those are big catfish right there. You guys have seen some of the ones we've caught. Oh, I see the albino catfish too. Oh, I see him. He's just a white catfish and we're gonna catch him one day. Come on, show yourself, you little. There he is, right there. You guys might see him, I don't know. I need a better zoom lens. There's a white catfish, there he is. All white, come on, come up, show yourself, show yourself. There he is right there, did you guys see him? I know you guys saw him. How about that, a freaking albino catfish? As if the property just couldn't get cool enough. I mean, that's a pretty rare little catfish and we're gonna go on a mission one day, try to catch him and look at him a little bit better. Might even eat him, hell, who knows? The catfish are so crazy, they like get up on the water with their mouth and they just go like ur, 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 and they just eat a bunch of food then they splash down all of a sudden. My next door neighbor, Daryl's got something going on over there. He's got tractors going. He's running around in his side by side. I wonder if they're uh, doing some deer stuff. I heard him say something about like planting some deer food plots. I'm still not even really entirely sure what that is. I, I think it's just when a, a hunter pl plants a bunch of food, right, in his field with the intent of bringing the deer in to feed on the food, right, and then to shoot. I mean, if I'm, if I'm completely off on that, somebody please correct me, but I'm pretty sure that's what we're dealing with here. I just missed this thing repeatedly. Hey, hey, how's it going, Daryl? All right, Daryl, I'll see you in a little bit. I love these conversations that I have with my next door neighbors now, which I've only got like a neighbor or two out here. But uh, yeah, talking about food plots and hunting and planting crops and the fields and eggs and all kinds of crazy stuff. God, country life's so good. Ain't America great. I just received word of the delivery truck with the new toy for the ranch is on its way. But in the meantime, I actually got a couple little things here to put on the old boat. Got a couple, oh God. Got a couple decals to put on here, a little Ketchco guy. Of course they make the uh, Guggen rods and they make the Guggen Squad lures. The Ketchco makes it the jigs and the hard baits and stuff like that. Plus we got a little Carl's Bait and Tackle. KBD is in the house. I gotta figure out where these need to go on the boat. That one needs to go right there. Right, babe? Right? Yes. Well, bam. Pop zoom on you. I mean, that one has to go right there. So that, oh, this one could go like right here. That kind of, that's not bad, right? I mean, because I've only got the two right now. So like if I had three, if I had another one of these, I could put one of those like right here and one over there to make it symmetrical, but I've only got the two for right now. So, I mean, or I could put it, or that could go like up here, like right there. Yeah, I like that better. You like that? Yeah, I, I think you're right. That small one like that, because I could put a much bigger one on this yeah. door. But that one's perfect for that middle one. Let's see if we can get them on here. You gotta be quicker than that. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that looks good. Get those little air bubbles out of the I'm working on it. This deck is extremely hot. I hope these air bubbles, I think the air bubbles will just come out naturally, I think. Yeah, you think? Probably so. I mean, you know what's crazy is it's actually developing more as it sits there. Hmm. That's we'll have probably to, good. We'll have to revisit that one, but let's, oh God, let's slap this one on here first. I agree with you. I think up here is definitely the, uh, that's the, the move to make. Part. Right there. Yeah, looks good. And that one has, oh no way. It starts getting air bubble, bubbles after it gets put down. That's weird. That's weird. Probably because I didn't clean the surface at all before I put these down. So they're just like little dirt bubbles. Hmm. Why is my boat rocking this much? The boat's rocking. <laughs> Dang, don't even be, don't even be playing with me like that. Probably gonna fill with water. Let's see if the bilge comes on. Boat is literally filled with water. That's good. Yeah. You wanna get a nice base layer of water in the boat at all times. That way uh, it rocks when you're on it, even when it's on a trailer. That's kind of weird. I never felt it rock like that before. I think it's because it's filled with water for real. Boom, this is a good looking deck now. All of a sudden, we're repping the sponsors, baby. 
I like that big KVD sticker. So now we just need like a Guggenbait sticker right here. And maybe like a, or maybe something on this one too. Oh, okay, it wasn't that bad. It stopped. It wasn't completely filled with water. Yeah, boom. I think that turned out pretty gosh darn well. So true story, the delivery people actually just went flying by my house with the new toy. But here they come now, I see them. Are you ready for this, babe? I am. Are you though? Are you, are you actually ready though? I'm very ready. I can tell you've changed outfits here. You got the uh, riding gear on. I do. And then you got the old t-shirt, strong as Garsh, or whatever Garsh. that stands for. Yes. Here they come. That's right, folks. We decided to go ahead and pull the trigger and get a brand new 2020 John Deere XUV. Let's get the numbers right. 590 MS4. Why did they give it so many things? Why can't it just be like the 2020 John Deere ATV? Gator. Yeah, Gator. <laughs> four. Like do a two and a four. Two is a two seater, four is a four seater. Anyways, John Deere, I'm not going to try to tell you how to do your job, but one thing's for you make a fine looking ATV. Hey, what are your impressions so far? Just right I off the top. I'm excited. I cannot wait to ride around and drive. Yeah, look at this thing though. I mean, just, just looking at the thing, it is very good looking. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of little features I won't bore you guys with that comes with this thing, but just make it that much sicker. Like the big tires that they have, extra grippy tires, the 14 inch alloy rims, which just gives it a little bit more ground clearance, which I like so we can get in and out of some hairy stuff out here. Got the little bed back here. Look at the little tailgate, man. Come check this tailgate out. It's pretty cool. It is a four by four. Obviously four wheel drive is something that you're gonna need to have out in the country. Check this little thing out. Boop. Little it. tailgate. Now I wouldn't sit on it because it doesn't seem like it's incredibly stable. I bet you could, I probably couldn't, but a little tailgate. Yeah. Now it doesn't have the big fancy hydraulic thing, but it's got a little pull thing, like a dump feature right oh. there, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Unless you don't have, like, as long as you don't have something that's super heavy back there. That little pool thing and it just, boop, dump some wood or something right out of it. Yeah. Pretty cool little feature. Easy there, Charlie. Easy. There's so many things happening. You think he'll get in it? Charlie! Come on! Come on, Charlie! Come on, Charlie! Nope. He said, nope. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't like it. So, obviously, we had to have a way to get around this property a little bit better. I was telling you guys earlier, I'm tired of driving the truck all over the property. And this Gator right here by John Deere really just makes that happen. But some of the features real quick that it has, I think it's got like a 32 horsepower gasoline motor. Um, it can run like 45 miles an hour is what the guy's talking about. Now we're about to hop in this thing and rip around and see what it can do. But it's got a pretty nice little engine. It's got the four-wheel drive, already mentioned that. It's a four-seater, which you guys can see. We've got the front row seats and the back row seats. And that's just, I mean, obviously we've got a big family. We've got three kids. And this is a way where we can throw a couple kids in the back. Me and mama can ride around with all the kids, go down to the pond, ride down the road, see some of our neighbors or any of that kind of stuff. It's got power steering. It's got the, it's got the little uh, the bumper guard. You see this thing? This thing is awesome right yeah, here. Check that out. Just run people right over. Never have to stop. Yeah. It's got a spot for a winch right down here, which I was asking about. We can get that put on later if we ever, if it was so inclined. It's got a lighting system. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet little machine. One thing's for sure, we gotta get in this thing and try it out. All right, safety. Oh no, my seatbelt's already clamped. What kind of a oh, cruel joke is this? Gosh. Oh. All right, you ready? Should we just go down the pond first? Whee! Come on, Jay! Hold on to them bars. It's got that little loose suspension. It's supposed to be able to handle those hills. No, we don't want to hit them going. Ah. <laughs> Dude, don't we though? Well. <laughs> you know you want to drive this thing down these hills. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like a little buggy. It's like a little doom buggy. Oh. oh <laughs> I think we could easily go 45. Where's, where's Charlie? We lost him. Charlie's running back there. Charlie. Come on, Charlie! <laughs> he was not ready to run 22 no. miles an hour. The power steering is super nice because it is, it's so easy to turn the wheel. Yeah. Like some of them you have to like really crank the wheel. This one it's like it's effortless. So 
that's kind of cool. Yeah. It really does handle this rough terrain really well. Yeah, I am very shocked. Like my truck's like boom, boom. This yeah. thing is just like rocking out. Supposedly do like 40 miles an hour. Are we both buckled up? Yeah, we're yes. good. All right, give her a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Mario Kart. <laughs> Wow, that thing absolutely rips. I am shocked at how fast these things can go. This is not even the biggest one that they make, babe. They make ones with bigger engines than this and more horsepower. So you can imagine a full-size one of these going downhill like that, you might be able to hit 60 miles an hour, which is just, I don't know if you want to go that fast on one of these things. I probably don't. I got scared enough just on that one little run. <laughs> Got a little freaky when I was hitting like 46. I was like, okay, cool. This thing can do 40. That's probably as fast as I ever want to go in a buggy. But uh, yeah, here's the thing about fast cars, guys. The girls, they want to drive them. They put on their fancy jeans and their boots. And they want to drive them. So we're going to let Holly have a crack at this little uh, John Deere. Let her rip around in it. I have a feeling she's not going to rip it as hard as I did. But uh, yeah. All right. All right, babe. So we got the emergency brake is all the way to the left right there. So go ahead and release that. Oh yeah, and we're already in high, so we're we're good to go. So now it's just a car at this point. It's just a uh, drive, drive it like you stole it. You know what I mean? Ah! Yeah. Give her some juice. She, <laughs> baby likes to run. She likes to go. <laughs> I just met her, but I already know she likes to go. She likes to go. Oh, it scares me going over these little bumps. I know, but it takes it so well. That's the crazy part. Yes. It, it handles them. <laughs> She takes it so good. So well. <laughs> we were just talking about how much we appreciate these little mesh doors. I mean, I wasn't crazy about it when I first saw them, and I was like, you know what? Those are kind of cool. You know what it is? It's kind of Jurassic Parky. You yeah, know what I mean? It is. Like those Jeeps, those little Jeeps safari. in Jurassic Park. Yeah, Safari. Yeah, exactly. Like not gonna protect you at all, but it's, <laughs> it makes you feel kind of protected. But it's comforting. Right. It's comforting. It's at least some kind of a barrier between the wild and yourself. That's right. <laughs> yeah, appreciate the beauty of the pond and the just man-made kayaks just laid all on yeah. it. I got nowhere else to put them, babe. I'm sorry. Let's take some time to appreciate the swamp back there. Look at that nice mud hole. It's a good-looking swamp. Hey, it, there's fish in there. That's the crazy part. Yeah, Shrek would be proud. Of Shrek, that swamp. Shrek would totally live in a swamp like that, 1,000%. All right, babe, you got to open this thing up a I little just, bit. I'm now. appreciating. You're surveying the land. I am. Doing a good land survey. Yeah, you, you survey the land all day long. I do. All right, we're making a pit stop at yes. the pear tree. Pit stop at the pear tree. Are there any left? There's oh, there, there's one. The oh, there's one right there we might be able to get. You want me to try to get it? Yeah. Two pretty there's good some right there ones. on the end. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. There's four up high. I hope it hits me right in the face. <laughs> oh, it almost did. Oh. All right, bring it over here. Oh, that one's squishy. Or a little, well, it's not squishy, but it's a, it's a little less firm. Well, that side is squishy. I think like most fruit, you want it to be a little, you don't want it to be rock hard. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't know, give it a, I, give yeah. it a feel. I think that's right. I think that's yeah, I think so. Read. Now the guy next door said this was, I think he said an apple tree. I could be completely wrong. It was some another kind of fruit. Yeah. So get in the comment section and let me know if, if I'm wrong about that. But I think he said it was an apple tree, but it's never produced any apples. Huh. So how can we right. fix that? Yeah. Let us know. Subscribers, how can I make this tree bear fruit? Give us pear tree uh, rec or a pear tree tips. Give us apple tree tips. Got some little peanut plants here adjacent to the house. There's many boys. Oh yeah, the giant pecan tree. 
Oh, they got the green shells. Get close and grab one. Grab one. Oh, they're brown inside. That's what you want. Hell yeah. yeah, grab that big fat one. Yeah. The green grab, one? grab a couple of them, yeah. Oh. Let's see. Oh, yeah, thing looks pretty good. Let's see. You gotta crack it with your mouth. Ooh. Crack. Try to crack it long ways if you can. Oh, no, wow. it flew out. Son of a biscuit. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Come on. Control that nut. Mm. <laughs> I am no good at controlling nuts. Hey, -o. Oh! How are you doing? I've got it. I got it. They look actually really good. Well, you, what'd you see? You saw something? I saw bones. But you, don't, you don't have your glasses on. Well. Wow. Where are them bones at? Oh, snap. God, look at those vertebrae. That's so crazy. No, look, that's, that's like a hip right there. That's a hip socket. And there's where the, see how it attaches to the spine? Yeah. That's a nice intact spinal cord right there. That's crazy. Look at that. Look at those individual vertebrae, how they just come apart. What do you think that is? Well, it looks like a, I mean, a small creature. Um, I mean, definitely smaller than like a Charlie or something, but not tiny. Could be a fox, maybe. Look at that. I almost want to keep that, how those vertebrae are just still perfectly. Like, that's what you use in school to like show, okay, this is a vertebrae, you know, and this is what it looks like. It's how they all fit together. Maybe. <clears throat> maybe. I'm looking for a skull, but it doesn't seem to have a skull. That would help us out quite a bit. That's crazy, just a pile of bones. Welcome to the country. There's another bone. Is that another hip? Yeah, looks like a little hip socket bone. Wish we could find the skull. We would definitely be able to identify this thing. So Holly got so jealous that I opened this thing up on the highway. She wants to give her a rip. I think you should. We're good this way, dear. Right. I think we need to get on the road and we need to get actual documented proof of how fast this thing will go. Send it, baby. We've got a clear road ahead of us. Lower it. This is what your dog looks like after trying to keep up <laughs> with a bunch of people on a gator. He's uh, not really used to that much running. Come on, go get some water, Charlie. Good boy, good boy, go get some water. All right, you want a little love first? Okay. Oh, you just drank some water. His, his nose is soaked, so he just slopped down yeah, some water. That pond what do you think, babe? I think this was a good purchase. I would I have approve. to agree with you. Yeah, good, all right. Wait till the kids see this thing yeah. and realize that they can get in here in that back seat and be safe with the with the the the, uh, the seat belts that we have in here. They can be safe. They can have a great time. Mm -hmm. It's a work vehicle. We've got the bed. We can we can uh, toast or not toast stuff, but haul stuff to the pond to and from the pond. It's just gonna make our lives easier, I think. Yeah. Well, folks, we're gonna go ahead and wrap the video right here. Nice, short, and sweet video. Plus, Andrew's not here to really enjoy the fun with us, so we're gonna cut this bad boy right here. But I wanted to share this new purchase for the ranch with you folks because a lot of you on the very first video that I made when we bought the Dream Ranch, a lot of you said, hey man, you've got to get an ATV or a side-by-side -side or something because you're driving your truck down to the pond and back and around the property. It's just gonna wear your truck out. It's gonna cause you so many issues. Much smaller vehicle, lighter vehicle, a vehicle made to be driving around property. That's what this bad boy is. A lot of you people told me to get one or kind of suggested, so I figured, I kind of wanted one anyways, I'm not gonna lie to you, but that kind of reinforced it to me. So, made the old purchase this morning, got them to deliver it this afternoon. Pretty sweet deal, big shout out to John Deere for making an awesome product like this. Big shout out to Holly for helping me in today's video. Remember, smash the thumbs up button if you guys wanna see more Holly in the videos, and I will beg her to do so. 
more ranch vlogs and fishing things and maybe some hunting coming soon. Stay tuned, guys. Make sure you subscribe with the bell notification enabled. We're getting out of here, folks. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. See ya. Thank you.